My name is Amit Baror. I'm the chief of the division of MS and related disorders and the director of the Center for Neuroinflammation and Experimental Therapeutics at the University of Pennsylvania. We are in uh, our lab, our research lab, which is a cellular and molecular uh, neuroimmunology lab in the Stemmler building at Penn School of Medicine. We now have many different treatment choices for MS, and these have evolved because uh, the treatments that had existed uh, were partially effective or more effective or uh, safe to differing extents in different patient populations. We now try to choose amongst the therapies uh, with always in our minds the balance between risk and benefit in individuals. Penn has a unique position and opportunity as well as I think responsibility in contributing to the development of new therapies. We have a large patient base whom we take excellent care of and engage and invite to participate in trials of new emerging therapies. We have a range of uh, clinical trials in MS and related disorders. Our goal is uh, particularly to focus on those studies that uh, we think of course are important in the field and appropriate to uh, offer certain patients, but also ones where we have an opportunity either to take leadership roles in the clinical trial or to include uh, additional sub-studies that help us learn more both about the therapy but also using the therapy basically to jiggle the complex pathophysiology of MS and in doing so uh, provide a unique window into the disease itself. One of the main reasons I decided to make a move to Penn was because of uh, what is truly a, a remarkable collegial and collaborative uh, environment. For example, our activities with John Wary from the Institute of Immunology, including the COVID vaccine study, uh, as well as studies that cut across other departments and uh, subspecialties. We've had the privilege over the years to contribute to some discoveries that have had considerable impact on treatments and MS care, and this has really produced a new generation of therapies that strike a much better balance for people living with MS in terms of the efficacy and safety. Over the last few years at Penn, we've had the opportunity to participate uh, in the development and uh, through to the approval, essentially, of all the recently approved therapies in multiple sclerosis. Our research into multiple sclerosis at Penn spans uh, different gamuts uh, of the condition, and this is part of Penn's new immune health initiative, which really considers the immune system to be involved in every aspect of health and illness, and one to understand and understand how to measure to better gauge what distinguishes health from non-health and how to restore health uh, whenever possible. We're always enthusiastic about prospects of collaborating with people outside of Penn for new ideas, new approaches, developing new measurement platforms, and other ways to improve the care and the research that we do here at Penn. There still is a great deal for us to do, and we hope to continue to make important strides to optimize the care of people living with MS.